question one in the module one lab practice quiz is giving some of you some difficulty and it is challenging but it's an example of how you uh, put together what you are being presented in lecture in the lab and the web mic study guide and then you can go out on the web actually when you think what it is if you want to take the time to do that and and even get further confirmation so I'm going to walk you through that this question identify the cell type at the tip of the black arrow okay there is the cell and so you have to think now okay I've had epithelium connective tissue haven't had muscle and nerve and there's the four basic tissues so I really only have to decide between the cell type and epithelium and connective tissue so uh, epithelium we know line spaces uh, in the body or uh, tubes like blood vessels uh, or uh, gastrointestinal tract or uh, on the surface of the skin uh, and of course you would suspect this might be epithelium here and it really is simple columnar epithelium but down here you, you would have to go in the direction of connective tissue because there's no free space that this cell is lining and you're really only given the nucleus so you have to look at the pattern of the chromatin and uh, when you're thinking about the connective tissue cell types which this would be one of those you have to think fibroblast mast cell lymphocyte maybe a wandering uh, uh, eosinophil neutrophil or, or whatever so uh, paying attention to learning the shapes of the nuclei and the pattern of chromatin is uh, very important in identifying and when you look around here you'll see other cells that have this same pattern you see this pattern here and and maybe down here uh, another cell having that pattern uh, up here there are several uh, kind of have the similar pattern so um, I'm going to now bring in some of the resources that you are in instructed uh, with in WebMic so in the uh, WebMic study guide uh, unit 4 connective tissue uh, you learn about the the different types of tissue and then you learn about the cell types and if I scroll down here to actually to page 43 uh, or thereabouts we begin uh, plasma cells and lymphocytes I'm just going to tell you now that that's a plasma cell so how how would you have learned about the plasma cell well this is the place you would uh, learn something about it and here we have your direction to go to stomach uh, corpus hematoxum eosin and you're directed to go to different magnifications and finally the the other the uh, uh, <coughs> third uh, 160x image you will find a labeled plasma cell and you are instructed here I'm going to enlarge this that this is the characteristic feature of a plasma cell it's a nuclear chromatin chromatin is arranged like the face of a clock so to observe this clock face nucleus select the third 160x image and find the labeled plasma cell and you can also compare in that same field the nucleus of a lymphocyte uh, with a plasma cell. So let's go in and, and look at that specimen and see what we find. So now I'm uh, I have I have the uh, stomach corpus hematoxin is and you see I was able to choose that uh, here as instructed under the gastrointestinal tract and there it is. And you could look at all these images, but you're instructed to find the plasma cell on the third. Uh, uh, 160x image. See 160 because always uh, 40x times 4, 160, and you were uh, that was explained to you in the web mic tutorial, I believe. Okay, so I'm going to scroll over here and find the plasma cell. Okay, and, uh, and then you can read a little bit about the plasma cell. It just simply says that it's uh, found in the mucosa of the stomach and also throughout the GI tract. It secretes secretory IgA. And notice the uh, clock face nucleus. You have a dot in the center and you have a little pattern around the edge like it's uh, clock numerals. That's what we mean by that. And I can uh, put this out like this. And then if you look around, you can uh, compare that to a uh, lymphocyte. See, a uh, lymphocyte doesn't have a pattern. It's just a dense, uh, dark, stained dot. So um, 
I now want to take you to the lecture slide that explains the plasma cell. So here in the connective tissue proper lecture, slide 27, it uh, describes plasma cells. Now, of course, the other feature in plasma cells, it has uh, a fairly blue staining cytoplasm because these cells have a lot of uh, rough in the plasma reticulum to uh, manufacture and secrete uh, immunoglobulin and uh, antibodies of various types. And here, uh, <coughs> You just can barely see the clock face nucleus, not as well illustrated as it was in the in the in the lab in, in WebMic and explained in the WebMic study guide. But on the EM, you can clearly see that the um, nucleus does have a clock face pattern, and here's a, a nucleus in the center, and then the heterochromatin around the edge, and of course the euchromatin. So that's the way you can put this together. And then if you want to reinforce and amplify your study, then go out in the web and do a search on plasma cell or any other cell that you want to uh, reinforce. And here on this Wikipedia uh, thing, you can actually see here the, the pattern of the uh, nucleus in a plasma cell. So hopefully that will help you in thinking about how to approach these um, uh, specimens. Uh, obviously, uh, we, uh, you've got to put two and two together. You've got to coordinate lecture and a lab learning in order to come out with uh, easy identification of these specimens. So now coming back to the uh, to the quiz itself, having uh, gone through all that, don't you see here that this is a plasma cell and it does have a pattern that is characteristically clock faced. So uh, hopefully that's helpful and uh, we'll do more of these as uh, questions come up. It's a great opportunity for interactive teaching.